Hello, thank you for watching. This is Rhonda Del Baccio, the Crafty Blind Girl, and I do enjoy crafts. I am mostly blind, so I do things either a little differently or some things take me a little longer, but I really enjoy doing things. So what I have here is a journal, and I'm kind of going out of my mind because I'm filming this at the beginning of March, but I can't show you this until the middle of March after I see my friend. Um, because it's her birthday present, and if she sees my YouTube video, she'll see this, and nah, I didn't know. So anyway, um, I made it with, well, the paper, this is the Sunny Mornings kit from Calico Collage. It's a printable journal kit, and I, I used, um, well, some of the kit, I used a few other elements, um, that is a picture of clouds that I took that's in there and then a bunch of elements from her kit and a couple of extras. So I'll show you all of that momentarily. And the tool that I use to make it is the uh, journal, sorry, book binding guide. I always call it the journal guide. Book binding guide from We Are Memory Keepers. And they are wonderful at making these templates. I will tell you, I always wanted to be able to sew my own journals because I mean, it's okay to pay somebody else, but I'm like, I look at that and go, yeah, but if I just could sew and know I'm, I got my holes in the right place, I think I could do that. So I'll still buy some things from shops. However, you know, it's nice to be able to do it. So for that kind, this kind of a journal here, you end up putting your pages down in the little crevice that's right there. And then you put this uh, guide, this comes off of here and you put it on there put this plastic piece over the top and then you punch your holes using the kit comes it has an awl which I have my own but hey you know that's nice it's in there and it comes with a pretty goodly amount of um, the a waxed thread and uh, a circular needle I guess that's for some of the stuff that would use this other side and then there's also a regular needle, which I very intelligently shove into the twine so that it doesn't float around. It's really easy to lose needles otherwise. So and this all will want to poke through. Let me get this set up. So I fix it like such so that it's into the plastic because I did actually, not that it, it's a huge deal, but it could poke a person, but I did end up poking it through that. So that goes together. I'll do a review and tutorial separately, which I imagine I will have shown you by now. But here is the actual journal. So I used the cover, and this is printed on cardstock. This is her cover, and I chose that as one of the interior pages. And I thought it would be nice for my friend to have a space on the interior where, you know, she could either write her intention, what this is going to be for, or whatever. Then I took a piece of vellum. You can print ve on vellum on your own printer. It's just an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Um, I'll pr I should show this too, but when you print vellum, because it wants to curl, what I do is I set a piece of paper in the tray where it's going to land and then uh, I put those things together and then you'll have to uncurl the edges a little bit because it will curl out of the printer a bit but there's that this is a photograph of clouds that I took and one of the journal one of the elements from the kit this is a watercolor background I made the dragonfly. She loves dragonflies. I made her that. This is a piece of paper uh, from a strange sized paper pack. I mean, it's like 12 inches long and it's by, I don't know if it's eight or seven and what it's weird size. Um, so I folded it up to make a double pocket. In that, this is a picture of my dog who's dear to both of us. Here's a cute piece of ephemera I got from somebody. Here's a cute piece of stripe. This was actually a leftover from card making, 
But, you know, it's the nice size to just either jot something cute down. She could end up pasting it down somewhere or whatever. Get out of the way. There you. That's from the Sunny Mornings. And then that from Sunny Mornings as well. So just nice to have pockets and these fun little... elements in there see because I thought that was cute with the birds and then here's a page for writing this one's printed on on um, lightweight paper like um, 24 pound printer paper because I wanted there to be different textures and if someone's just writing on this and you're not trying to make it a mixed media project or something it doesn't matter and then here is of course the other side of that and there's still room to add elements or whatever now this here is back to a piece of cardstock the weight might be 80 I'm not actually sure uh, and this is a nice area for journaling I love the sunflowers there this was a piece I had saved back from another project it's also from calico collage um I don't remember what kit or whatever thing it was from, but it will work so perfectly along with the rest. And in it, this is stamped. I used this for uh, card making, and I thought, oh, that would be nice. Because then, you know, she could either paste it down on a card or something to give. And here's a little card. It just came with some craft supplies, I, a kit that I bought. And just some random bits of ephemera. And this is also something from Calico Collage. And in making the pockets, um, I really just, uh, for that, sorry, I'm reassembling. I apparently can't talk and reassemble efficiently. Um, I use the Xyron. Mega Runner, which is just a giant tape runner. Um, I like it because I do know that once I stick something down, it's done stuck. It's stuck well. It's not going to come undone, whereas like a glue stick or something, sometimes it can. Okay, so that is from Cardstock, the lovely butterflies. And this is also vellum, and when I saw this, Multi sunflower. I, you know what? I don't remember if it was from that kit or something else of her. I think it was from the kit. Um, and this, I took a piece of paper. I just did a tear because I wanted it to not be pristinely cut. And I added some fun elements. So part of the kit, there are journaling cards. So I printed those off. And, of course, now that I've pulled them out and got them all a shoe, there we go. And I like that one. It's a nice reminder. So she has that. Whoops. Slightly different angle. There we go. Super pretty. Similar to the vellum. Slightly different size flowers. This is, again, a piece of typewriter paper. Uh, you know, you just print one side, run it back, and print the other side. By the way, shout out to HP Instant Ink. Thank you, because I would, I will tell you this stuff uses a lot of ink, and I probably wouldn't do it if I didn't have that where I can pay either three or five dollars a month. By the way, and I don't sew. This is well, I'm not going to say it's the only thing I've sewn in my life because there were these hideous craft projects in summer camp, and I was terrible at it. And I, I don't sew. And it's not really because I'm blind. I'm just. Don't love it, not great at it. And I love the sunflowers here. And then here's um, some more of the cloud. And see how this is shorter? I kind of like that things can be different. They don't all have to go to the edge. And on the other side, I really liked this with the kind of woody background. Some space to write. And those beautiful sunflowers. That's from Sunny Morning's kit. And this so pretty. 
I like how that page turned out the gigantic sunflower and there's space to write or doodle or whatever. Love this with the balloon, the butterflies. It's kind of fun because this kit has elements that are important to both of us. Is the sunflowers, I mean, I love them too, but my friend has a really big love of sunflowers. Me, it's the butterflies and hot air balloons, going on hot air balloons in my bucket list and things like that. So here, this is a piece of, oh, what do you call that? Um, stationary. <laughs> yeah, my brain just went, whoosh, nope piece of stationery that had some musical notes so I did a tear across the top in fact I included the upper part of the tear in one of these pockets somewhere inside um, I don't remember where I got this particular card but what I did was I laminated it and so now it's sturdy so you can either use a temporary stick and you know pop it down somewhere or just use it in whatever other way but now it's more solid and there are some other elements now this was from calico and this was a set of positive phrase type of cards i don't remember what that one was called but they're really nice and i also laminated that one that was we have stuff from whoops sunny mornings there is a set of the little cards, which I'll hearken back to different elements of what's in the rest of the kit. So, need for a nice little collection. Kind of like the effect of them like bursting out of the pocket rather than being all stuffed in now of course once i get on the airplane and present this to her i don't know if they'll all be that way these were a little ephemera from the kit and i also made an upper tuck uh, that was from somewhere else but it's really cute i believe it's really important for my friend to keep her dreams alive and uh, so I have that, and then stuck in there, this says cheers, and it was something I got from a planner buddy, and I thought that was so cheerful and cute. So you can see that something is stuck in there, and then you have to go exploring. And then here is another pocket. This is from the kit, and my friend really, we, neither of us generally likes people in our planners and stuff, but because of the sunflower skirt and it's a dancer, I think she'll really enjoy that. And then there are some other pieces of ephemera, most of which are not from the kit. This is wood grain, which may have been, yeah, I think that was from the kit. Now, this I printed on sticker paper. I had used part of the page on something else. I had a leftover piece, and I thought, well, that would be nice because I used... There, see? Similar type of patterning to that. And I love this artwork. Yes, that's um, a thing that was interesting as I was doing this. I did use this page before, but I had the butterfly piece with things coming out of it covering the bottom. This one I left. It's co cool when you're doing these to look at how the spreads are going to lay out, which when you're dealing with eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper isn't always as convenient, but it really helps to make sure that things kind of go together. This one's on regular typing paper. I do slightly heavier. I don't use 20 pound, I use uh, 24 pound. So on here, this is an ephemera piece from the kit. Again, that wonderful glue um, mega runner from Zyron that I love. I love anything. Zyron is good. Your stuff will definitely hold. So here's the other side of that. Now she'll have some room to either create some of her own art if she wants or stick down photos or whatever. Piece of ephemera. Again, it was fun to have the little bit of music 
And then I had pulled in that other sheet of music paper. The other part of that. These are different. These are a set um, from Calico Collage. They're not in Sunny Morning, but these have the dragonflies. And it was a set of nine um, uh, cards. I forget. They're not journaling cards. I forget what exactly she called them. Because my friend loves the dragonflies, um, I printed that for her. And here's the other half of the sunflower vellum, which I think looks really cool with, with the other elements there. Whoops. And then here is, um, this is from a, a piece of paper again, pulling in the, oh, there's that other half. I knew I put it in. And uh, so I have actual some, actually some journaling cards, which are from Calico Collage, from her shop, not from the kit. Well, her kit's from the shop, but I mean separate. The other part of that, pretty paper. So there's room to write, journal, create. I think she's gonna love that page. I know she was ooing and aahing over this set when I showed it to her. And then for this part, this is on the thinner paper, but see, you know, it's like it doesn't really matter. It's nice to have the different textures. There's room for some writing there. Here's the other half of the bird pocket. And there are some handmade birds. These I actually um, colored and die cut. So she has some birds. And she has a unicorn in here, which is also... Something I made, I know that the dies and stamp set came uh, from Michael's, and I think you have to buy that in the store, but I was in there and saw them. Here's the other half of just leaving. I thought it would be nice. That space is, um, you know, just begs for something to be done on it, and she can decide what that something is. The other half of the clouds, again, same idea. It's, it's not blank. Exactly. I mean, there's imagery on it, but it's still enough of a blank canvas. You can play with it. Here's the other half of that pretty vellum. And she wants to put any closing thoughts or pictures and then the back of the cover. And so this has, oh, and by the way, this is just a blank piece of paper, but, um, you know, well, well, I mean, she can rearrange how these cards are and stuff when she gets it, but there will be room for her to do her own thing or for her to tuck things into of her own. So even though it's it looks like a blank slate, and as you're building, it's like, oh, this is plain compared to everything else, but so you can still really make it pop and have fun with it. Altogether, this had 13 pages, uh, sheets, so, oops, sorry, earthquake. Um, and it was really thick because I had quite a bit of cardstock. And you'll see it's a thick journal. Oh, goodness, I just spewed. I have to rearrange. I spewed ephemera everywhere. Um, it makes me think I will put it into a sleeve. Um, it it's something that she can either put into a, uh, if she has an A5 TN case, or even if you don't, it's still... You know, it's, it feels nice and substantial. It's a nice journal, um, but it's not so cumbersome that you couldn't carry it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little tour of my incredible exploding... <laughs> the incredible exploding journal. I want to thank you very, very much for, uh, for watching. And I would invite you please to subscribe and tap the bell so you get all my vids right when they come out. In the comments, let me know anything else you would like to see. And um, I'm, this is a new channel for me, so I'm uh, especially on a tear to find new people who enjoy seeing crafts. I separated this channel out from me as an author, so I have my author Rhonda Del Baccio channel, but I thought it made more sense to do a separate channel for crafting and planning. So I will be migrating those videos across by and by. And um, but thanks for watching. As always, cheers to your blissful life.